if you grew up in the 90s or play a lot of old computer games, you're probably familiar with Windows 98 or have at least heard of it. And for good reason, it was rather nice for its time, just as Microsoft was about to be taken to court. So, how about we look back at Windows 98? So, before we actually get going here, let's get into a bit of, uh, history. Now, there's not really a lot of interesting things regarding Windows 98's general history, but we should look at Windows 95 for a second. It was a pretty big deal because of its drastically overhauled user interface compared to old DOS versions of Windows 3.1 as well as its NT counterpart, but it was very buggy and whatnot. I mean, just look at this old clip from one of my earlier videos of me just trying to use a calculator. That being said, this was on a emulated 386 with 4 megabytes of RAM, if I remember correctly, so probably not the greatest experience, but still, it wasn't a stable version of Windows. Windows 95's successor was initially going to be codenamed Nashville. In that time period, it was given the preliminary name in some areas of the operating system of Windows 96. Long story short, Nashville did not last long, and it was split into two new versions, Memphis, which became Windows 98, and Detroit, which was Windows 95 OSR 2.5, if I remember correctly. But we're not going to look at Microsoft's codename Detroit, we're going to be looking at Memphis. Development began in later 1996, with build 1351 compiled in December. Things seemed to be going quite smoothly, and by late 1997, there were already some press insights into it. Wired was wondering what the actual proper name for this version of Windows would be, which at that time, they thought it would be Windows 97. In April, they reported that it would be priced at around $109 US dollars, specifically. Common sense. However, Windows 98 wasn't going through its development without its critics. There was a parody game called Microsoft Windows 98 that I've showed a couple times that generally takes jabs at Windows 98, primarily because of Microsoft's practices from this time. I mean, they were about to be taken to court. Furthermore, sometime before its release to the public, The Onion published an article on it saying that Bill Gates would injected Windows 98 in liquid form to New York City's water supply, and that this uh, installed Windows 98 in people's brains. I'm kind of surprised that I found an Onion article on this, since, you know. But Windows 98 actually got off to a rather positive review from the press. It wasn't the most stable, but that was something that a second edition can solve. Windows 98 was discontinued entirely in 2006 alongside Windows Me. So anyway, I think we should look at the computer that we're going to be using this operating system on. That is a Dell Dimension 2100 from 2001. With an Intel Celeron based off of the Intel Pentium 3 processors, the Celeron is a 1.1 gigahertz. It has memory of 256 megabytes, a I think 40 gigabyte hard drive if I remember correctly, and integrated graphics. We also have a OEM sound card, a sound blaster of some sort, which is kind of cool. Anyway, I think we should start this up now. Can't wait to hear that startup sound. Yeah, that was a really nice startup sound for the time. Let's start with the bundled applications. First off, there's Pain, everyone's favorite drawing program, and what I'm using here to draw some desert pyramid stuff. Pretty typical of me. Oh, wait, we gotta... Oh, this is kind of... How do we get some more texture in here? It's not the greatest, but still. Oh, 
There's also imaging, which don't really need to cover too much of this. Next up, there's calculator, which is lets us do math. That's not 19. Let's do some more. There's also WordPad. I don't know what's up here. I'm probably going to do something more than Word. We also have Windows Media Player. This. No, I don't want to set it as a default. Why would I want to use Internet Explorer? It's an awful web browser. From the factory, Windows 98 comes with Internet Explorer. In this version, Internet Explorer 5 on the second edition, which Probably wasn't the greatest idea for this time, but Microsoft went ahead with it anyway. Internet Explorer. Also, games. Free stuff. Even though these are already in Windows by this point. And to conclude some of the bundled stuff with Windows 98, there's Solitaire. Also, my phone stopped recording stuff when I was in the middle of showing this off, so, you know. Now let's look at some of the applications that were popular at the time of Windows 98. First off, Microsoft Office 97, featuring Microsoft Word. That's a bit of a summary of 98. And Microsoft Excel. We also have Adobe Photoshop 5, which uh, lets us edit pictures and whatnot, as seen here, with a screenshot I took. Next, it's time to look at Winamp. I mentioned this in my Windows XP video from last week, so here it is on Windows 98. Last but not least, in terms of popular programs from this time, there was Netscape Navigator, which eventually formed what would become Firefox. There's an easter egg in here called the Book of Mozilla, and I want to go show that off here because it was included in Netscape. There's an easter egg here. Look at this. This is in... Apparently this appeared in Netscape before, you know. This is... If you're curious, this is still in Firefox. 
and the beast shall come forth surrounded by a rolling cloud of what roiling cloud of vengeance the house of the unbelievers shall be raised and they shall be scorched to the earth their tags shall blink until the end of days from the book of mozilla 12 10 clearly inspired by religious texts and also this surprised that early web browsers didn't have that easy way to uh, zoom in next up i think we should play some games I'm going to have a slightly different roster of games for this video compared to last year's video since I don't have all the time in the world and while I do have a lot of games from this time frame, I'm not necessarily the best at old games, so uh, let's give this a go. First off, there's Age of Empires, the original one, which is a game that I am generally kind of fond of. This is based off of a save file that I started back in august of last year and i didn't get it on camera but but i clearly need to practice a bit more with this game so i don't know what else to say yeah i guess i know Next up, Fallout. I haven't played this too much, and I'm not even sure if I was going the right way, but I'm generally wanting to get more into old games, since I do have a gaming channel that I've done barely anything with, except upload Toho videos to, and those aren't doing all too hot, so I think you get the point, do you? Next up, Half-Life. It was brand new on this platform, and it generally influenced the FPS titles quite a bit. This time, I on this save file, I hadn't already started the Resonance Cascade, so I went back to go get anything that might have been helpful for me, at least for some time. Next up, rather briefly, we're going to look at Quake. I was going to show this more, however, I quickly learned my controls were not working and not behaving properly at all. I learned this the hard way because I usually can get past this first level just fine, to some degree. However, I couldn't even make it past the first 30 seconds here. I was able to find a secret area which got me armor and health, but that did not last long, and I was already being shot at a lot, even on the easy mode. Mode, so I think you can understand that this is just a no-go. We're not gonna look at Quake for this because my controls, I don't know how, but they got messed up rather badly. So let's move on to Need for Speed 2 SE, which is gonna be the last game that we're gonna look at. My experience with this game is not the best, but somehow I was able to net a local personal record despite sucking really badly at this. I was just having fun not doing good at the game too, so it wasn't like I was mad or rage quitting or something. And that's generally going to be about it for gaming, and it's generally going to lead us to the conclusion of this video. Overall, Windows 98 is a rather nice operating system that is nice to look back on and use from time to time. Some people use it more in their lives than others, and while not a lot of programs support it anymore, there are still some, like a very small handful of programs that do support it, such as Image Burn or Clownwin Antivirus. But for the time, Windows 98 was a good operating system for Microsoft in a time period that they were not really doing the best during, and despite some of its initial criticisms, it's rather nice.